Merry Christmas and welcome to The Breakfast at Plus TV Africa. Time for us to go through the papers this morning. We call it Off the Press. GDA Johnson joins us this morning via Zoom. GDA, uh, compliment of the season and thank you for being with us this morning. Always, always wonderful morning to start the weekend on Plus TV. Good morning to our viewers all over the world. Good morning to Kofi. Good morning. Um, most important, most important. Good morning to beautiful, merciful, mercy. All right. Merry yeah. Christmas. And happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you, Jenny Johnson. Yeah. Um, you look, you look set. You look set to, yeah. You look set to jump, yeah. jump into the Christmas uh, celebration. I can see. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, exactly. And then you will be waiting for that merciful smile, and we got it. <laughs> all right fantastic <laughs> all right let's start off with the leadership newspaper this morning uh, the stories are quite interesting on the headlines it talks about at lagos uh rivers rally tony B speaks to issues underscore governance plans this a it's a bold caption you find i will convert nigeria's challenges to opportunities says apc presidential candidate i will run government of youth women will be uh, say don't waste time on Tinubu. Atiku tells uh, PMB, well, quite interesting right there. But you know when politicians make all of these promises, they, we call them, we tag them campaign promises. And these are just statements. And even if you had a government in place, there might just be policy statement because you need to have an action plan. And beyond having an action plan, you also need to have implementation. So I'm hoping that the electorate are asking the right question as to how all of these things will become. Cash withdrawal limit, Naira redesign, not political. The Central Bank of Nigeria is quoted to say, of course, you have a picture of the CBN governor, Godwin Emefili himself. Uh, no amount of threats will stop 2023 elections. The federal government is committed to that. He vows. Again, I will unveil my presidential candidate in January, we can say. <laughs> Shouldn't he be supporting, you know, candidate from his party? Illegal abortions, report uh, and vindicate army uh, fingers foreign NGOs. Anyways, that's uh, very, very interesting. Seven uni Abuja lecturers get one billion Naira research grant. And Kaduna emerges best performing state in World Bank's projects analysis. That's the much we can take this morning on the leadership newspaper. Let's go to the next paper we have on our list, and uh, the Nation newspaper has some interesting stories. The lead story there, Tinubu, multiple exchange rates, petrol subsidy to go. APC candidate promises to fix power, introduce students' loans. We'll look at both of the paper. Uh, Wiki allies to unveil preferred presidential candidate next month. One of the stories, uh, two of the stories on the paper. We'll look at some of them as we go on uh, with our guest. Well, let's uh, turn our attention uh, from the Nation newspaper this morning and quickly look at uh, the Guardian newspaper. The Guardian says lawmakers' constituency project delay 2023 project or budget. I take that again. Lawmakers' constituency project delays 2023 budget. Senate fixes December 28 for passage of appropriation bill. United States Africa Leader Summit beyond the symbolism of catch up race with China. And uh, 2023, Mephili affirms CBN's neutrality, states benefits of the policy. Now, as we just uh, move away from the Guardian, we quickly take this. I will remove fuel or petrol subsidy, Tinubu vows at business launch. Obey Supreme Court order on Suk. Oil fuel, Biosa tells the RMAFC. And uh, you find airlines operators risks imprisonment, fines for non remittance of sale charges. Really, why are we having this as a conversation? MBA sues Minister of Women Affairs, uh, Pauline Tallinn, over kangaroo comment. That's the much uh, we have this morning on the Guardian newspaper. The next paper on our list is uh, the Punch newspaper with these headlines. Cash limits, not anti-people, CBN insists, reps knock him fearfully. Policy will open rural underserved communities to economic opportunities, CBN Deputy Governor. Apex Bank orders 500 million pieces of new notes, says nation ready for cashless economy. Uh, Mayfield flouting CBN Act, policy ill-timed, irresponsible lawmakers, ex-ADC. 
killers of U.S. based hotelier Lagos Ibado Highway kidnappers arrested. Um, we have still from the punch and NPC marketers a plan 148 naira per liter that Tinubu insists on subsidy removal. FG may reintroduce telecom tax in 2023, according to a report. And the National Assembly uh, uncovers errors, uh, delays passage as of the 2023 budget. Seems that uh, that may not happen before the new year. Some stories on the front page of the punch. Well, it's time for us to have G.D. Johnson uh, share his thoughts this morning on the papers. G.D., it's good to have you join us. And please, uh, which of the headlines interest you as we went through the pages this morning? Well, let's start with um, the story on Tinumbu be speaking to issues and what we are looking for to 2023 is issue based campaign not campaign based on ethnicity not campaign based on personality personality will not solve problem but it's issues that will solve the problem and like you said in the opening monologue not only for them to outline these issues make these promises but also to give us the action plan we have had a lot of promises in the past that people have promised to do to do this to do that and that they have not been held accountable to the promises they made. I hope moving forward, we, as the election is drawing near, to be issue based, and then we also ask them about the action plan of what they intend to do to solve the marriage of problems that we have in this country. There's no doubt that that the problem facing Nigeria is multifaceted. However, a constructive program by decisive leadership. We solve all the problems that we have um, to, to, to a certain extent. So for me, it's a welcome development, and I need. I think that we need to to hold them accountable with respect to um, what they are going to do beyond highlighting these issues, beyond identifying these issues. What are you? What are the steps that you are going to take to solve the problem? You know what the problem. You know what to do. The critical question is how. How is the critical questions we should be asking them to go about because what you want to do is to solve public governance problem and um, that's that's for me is a step in the right in the right direction that they started talking about issues other than abusing themselves and insulting one another which has always been the major um, approach that has been adopted in the past with respect to dealing with um, campaigning for public offices in Nigeria, it should be issue based. All right. The House of Representatives has have tried, they've tried to get uh, the CBN governor, uh, Gordon Wafili, uh, into the Green Chamber uh, for some time now, unsuccessfully. They've given him several, I mean, he says he's out to the president to say, come tomorrow. You know, when I saw that, I said, I said, how can someone just come tomorrow when he's abroad? You know, so he's written to them, telling them he can't come. He's outside the country. There's nothing. You, should, you see, yes. I, 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 no, but I Mr. Johnson, the, the, the update, the update on that, as we read earlier from the punch, uh, in that headline on the front page of the punch newspaper, uh, cash limits and not anti people. CBN insists reps knock him feely. The paper just gives us the details of what happened when uh, uh, representatives of uh, the CBN appeared before the uh, House of Representatives. Uh, to represent God in the Mayfield, please. Uh, the, the, the bottom line is that I can't imagine the the chairman of the Federal Reserve of the United States being invited by the Congress, either by the House of Reps or by the Senate, for to appear before the committee. Um, with them not appear, um, you see, the the challenge we have with our democracy is that some certain institution believes that they are above or that uh, they are above checks and balances the beauty of democracy particularly the type of system of governance that our practice is about checks and balances it talks about separation of power the power of oversight function lies with the with 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 the with the legislature so there's no way that let me feel this you ask the assignment of arms to arrest to arrest him because if you are invited, it builds on you to appear. The, the House of Representatives, the legislature is the representative of the people. The whole of Nigerians cannot come and ask you questions, but they've elected their representative, and you are being summoned by the representative, and you are, you are, you are sending a representative, you are, you are postponing your appearance, and then you are sending someone to represent you. Are you telling us that you are bigger than the people? 
And I don't have any reason to blame them to be in that manner. It is because the way the National Assembly itself have conducted itself, where people that are meant to be um, to, 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 to exact control over, over, over ministries, departments, and agencies of government and other executive arm, they go cap in and beg them for, for, for one thing or the other. So they, they've lost some of their respect. Because it's, I can't just imagine it on a federal reserve of United States being invited by the Congress to appear and it's not appearing. It's it will be subject to criminal prosecution. You you for defying the Congress. He, 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 content of Congress could send him to jail. So it's, it's, it's sheer contempt for, for the legislature, which is the true representative of, of, of the people. How could you come up with a policy? A policy like that that will change the monetary policy in Nigeria. We, you need to put other arms of government in the know, even if they, they write the National Assembly that, okay, we are about carrying out this particular policy. Did they involve the, 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 the Committee on Finance or the Committee on Appropriation in, 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 all of this, in all of this policy? Because government is meant to be a collaborative, a collaborative venture. It's not, it's not a unilateral decision that will be taken by the executive alone, because the executive and the legislature are both elected as representative of the people. So as far as I'm concerned, they should just send their sergeant of arms to, to pick him up. When you send for someone to appear before and he's not appearing before you, use the full weight of the law, use the full weight of, of what the Constitution has provided for you to exact and assert your authority. Right. Uh, Jide Johnson, uh, let's also move away from that and look at all the issues on the papers this morning. And my attention is on the punch. It talks about the federal government re considering reintroduction of telecom tax in 2023. Remember that that was suspended after, you know, uh, public outcry. But what do you make of this? It feels like, you know, there's a lot of hardship. <laughs> well, um, well, they are, thank God that they are coming out in the open. Even without the, we don't even know whether the taxes have been, have, have, have been collected directly or indirectly. Because if you look at, if you look at it, um, what has happened to the rates what has happened to the rates of um, that will pay for data, that will pay for, for, for voice calls and the rest of it? Now, if government is with the present economic hardship with inflation at double digit, and government is also thinking of imposing additional tax burden on the people, then it tells you about what 2023 will look like from the perspective of government in terms of what it means for Nigerians to survive or north in 2023. As far as I'm concerned, different form of taxation are, are, are directly or indirectly being imposed on the people, and then there's with, with nothing else to show to show for it in terms of the revenue that government is making. Upon all the revenue that government is making, we are still indebted to foreign to, to, to foreign nations and to foreign bodies, and yet we have nothing to show for it in terms of deliverables of, of democracy. Just to carry on you. Does it look like we're in a Christmas season? Just look around you. How many people have sent you text messages or phone calls that you have received with people asking for one form of help or the other? Because they have a bleak Christmas ahead of them. All right, Jerry Johnson, I want to thank you very much for your time uh, and for joining us this morning. And of course, uh, we've enjoyed your analysis, not just today, not just this month, but indeed throughout the year 2022. Let, been... let, let, me, let me quickly add this, Kofi. Um, whoever knows which is your advice, that he needs to learn from Amichi, and he needs to learn from Peter Odili, and he needs to learn um, uh, from James Ibori. These were people that were larger than life when they were holding the executive position of the governor. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, the party is trading, it is not quickly advised. If he does not take the rightful decision, it's just he will go into political oblivion after he leaves the office in 2023. All right, thank you. I'm sure reacting to one of the papers, I think a couple of them have that headline. Uh, he says he would announce his uh, preferred presidential candidate next year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's uh, on a personal note or uh, as leader of the um, G5 group of governors <laughs> or the integrity group. We'll see what happens. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you next week as we have a swan song for 2022. Have a fantastic weekend. Merry Christmas in advance to you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Thank you. Merci, smile again. Thank you.
All right, we have more conversations ahead. Uh, we'll be right back. Let's uh, take a look at judgments, some landmark and significant judgments uh, that were recorded in the year 2022 as we review uh, the activities this year. Please stay with us.